In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to enable your camera on Microsoft Teams. Let's dive straight into today's agenda. Using the camera during Teams meetings enriches the interaction, ensuring you're not just a voice, but also a visible and engaging participant. Whether for work, school or casual meetups, showing your face adds that personal touch to digital conversations. However, setting it up might seem a bit tricky if you're not familiar with the settings. Don't worry, I'll guide you through each step, making it simple and straightforward. To start, you'll need to navigate to the Microsoft Teams website. Once you're there, the first thing you'll do is sign in with your account. Look for the sign in option and enter your credentials. This step is crucial as it ensures you have access to your personal or work meetings and settings. After you've successfully signed in, You'll want to familiarize yourself with the Teams interface, specifically looking for three dots, often referred to as the More Options or Settings and More button. This little icon is your gateway to customizing your Teams experience, so clicking on it is our next step. Upon clicking the three dots, a drop down menu will appear. From this menu, you're going to select Settings. This is where Teams allows you to modify various aspects of the application, tailoring it to your specific needs and preferences. Remember, if at any point you feel lost, take a moment to explore the options available here. Uh, Microsoft Teams is designed to be user friendly, so it's all about finding what you're looking for with a bit of exploration. Once in settings, look for the devices option. This section is where Teams lets you manage your connected devices such as microphones, speakers, and most importantly for us today, cameras. The devices section ensures that Teams is using the correct hardware for your meetings, which is essential for both audio and visual clarity. Within devices, your next action is to find the drop down menu for camera options. This is where you can see which cameras are recognized by Teams and select the one you intend to use. If you have an external camera connected, it should appear here alongside your built in camera. Selecting your preferred camera here enables it for your meetings. And there you have it. You've successfully enabled your camera for Microsoft Teams. Before joining your next meeting, it's a good practice to test your camera setup to ensure everything is working as expected. Microsoft Teams usually prompts you for a camera test before meetings, but you can also do this within the devices section we navigated earlier. In closing, remember that enabling your camera is just the first step towards engaging in more personalized and interactive meetings. The real power lies in combining clear audio, stable connectivity, and genuine interaction to make your virtual presence as impactful as your physical one. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial has helped you get your camera up and running on Microsoft Teams. Don't hesitate to revisit any steps if you need and happy teaming!